FAA Airport Standard Specifications versus State DOT Standard Specifications. This video highlights and explains the primary differences between FAA Standard Pavement Specifications and State DOT Standard Specifications. By the end of this video, the viewer will recognize changes necessary to a State DOT Specifications for its use on an airport project. FAA Standard Specifications have been developed to accommodate aircraft loads. The Civil Aviation Authority, CAA, the precursor to the FAA, recognized in the early 1940s that the differences between highway loads and aircraft loads required higher quality paving on airports. The first airports were constructed utilizing highway specifications. Airport operators soon realized these payments would not perform under aircraft loads. The heavier aircraft loads caused the pavement to rut and shove resulting in surfaces and conditions unsafe for the operation of aircraft. Aircraft and vehicle wheel loads differ significantly. Aircraft tires are inflated to much higher pressures than vehicle tires. The combination of higher aircraft wheel loads and tire pressures require higher quality pavement materials and construction methods. And aircraft engines are sensitive to damage from pavement debris. This slide graphically displays the differences between tractor-trailer truck tire loads and aircraft tire loads for various aircraft. The truck tire loads are represented by the orange columns and aircraft tire loads by the gray columns. The divergence between highway loadings and aircraft loadings starts at 15,000 pound gross aircraft weight. For a 30,000 pound gross aircraft weight, each aircraft tire has a 7,125 pound wheel load. And for a 60,000 pound gross aircraft weight, each aircraft tire would have a 14,250 pound wheel load, both assuming two sets of dual wheels on the main landing gear. For comparison, the truck tire loading, assuming a standard 18,000 pound axle with two sets of dual wheels, each truck tire would have a 4,500 pound wheel load. The picture on the left shows a large commercial aircraft gear with loads from 14,000 to 60,000 pounds per tire at a tire pressure between 150 and 250 psi. The tractor trailer tire in the center picture is loaded at 4,500 pounds per tire at 85 to 110 psi. And the picture on the right is an automobile loaded between 1,000 to 1,200 pounds at a tire pressure between 35 and 45 psi. Consider an 80,000 pound plane and an 80,000 pound truck. The plane has 95% of the load in the main gear with four tires, meaning a loading of 19,000 pounds per tire. The truck has axles with approximately 85% of the load on four of the axles with four tires per axle meaning a loading of 4,250 pounds per tire. So even the gross weight is the same. The aircraft load per tire is 4.5 times higher than the truck tire load. The current FAA standard specifications for airport construction, advisory circular AC 150-5370-10 were developed specifically considering aircraft loadings. These specifications have been validated under full-scale aircraft load testing and are broad in nature since they may be used throughout the United States. FAA Standard Specifications Materials Acceptance and Testing is on a project-to-project -project basis. Note, there is no such thing as FAA Approved Materials. State DOT Highway Specifications are developed for highway construction within a state based upon highway loadings. They are set up for the state DOT to be the project owner, and the state DOT is responsible for checking, approving, and accepting materials and construction. When utilizing state specifications for construction of pavements on an airport, incorporation of the state specifications requires more than just saying, use state specifications. The state specifications need to be modified to reflect that the work is on and for an airport. The engineer makes selections regarding material types. This is not left up to the contractor. It is not acceptable to leave it to the contractor to decide which state material specification to use. These are the six areas to address when using state materials. Materials. Composition. 
Construction. Quality control. Quality acceptance. Measurement and payment. Materials and composition. The consultant needs to choose what materials to use to ensure that the pavement will perform as designed. For example, which asphalt mix or which type of gradation of base rock. Do not leave it up to the contractor to choose. They only know what is presented on the plans and specifications. The consultant clarifies differences between the FAA and state DOT specifications for construction. Raveling in asphalt pavement joints is a common pavement distress which may create foreign object debris, commonly referred to as FOD. FOD can impact the safe operation of aircraft. FAA specifications require additional controls for the construction of joints. It's rare for highway specifications to check joint density on a joint. State DOT specifications are often configured with the state as a project owner with responsibility for quality control, quality assurance, and determination of quantities for measurement and payment. Quality control and quality assurance provisions may require changes to include QC, QA controls to match current FAA specifications. The consultant ensures the specifications include the critical items for acceptable materials. For example, Acceptance for flexible pavements will be based on mat and joint density, air voids, smoothness, and grade. Regardless of what material is used, material may meet FAA specification, but there is no such thing as FAA approved pavement materials. FAA pavement specifications, which include aggregate gradations, have an option that allows minor modifications to aggregate gradations to allow the use of local materials. IPRF Study 05-3 is a good resource that compares the differences between FAA and state DOT highway specifications. The study is available at IPRF.org. The FAA advisory circulars are available at the FAA Airport's website, www.faa.gov airports. In summary, state highway materials may be used on airport serving aircraft less than 30,000 pounds. State highway materials may be used on airport serving aircraft less than 60,000 pounds with a modification to standards. State highway specifications may be used on non-primary airport serving aircraft less than 60,000 pounds in states where the state has requested and received FAA approval to use state highway specifications. Aggregates meeting state highway gradations may be used without a MOS if gradations are within reasonable close conformity, plus or minus 5%. For any questions, contact the FAA Pavement Engineer.